And just within the last 20 minutes, we received that first response from Beverly Hall. Her attorney sent us a statement that reads in part, there is no direct evidence in the entire 410-page narrative report or in the accompanying 400 pages of exhibits to show that Dr. Hall knew in 2009 the widespread cheating on the CRCT was occurring or had occurred. And it goes on to say Dr. Hall denies engaging in any wrongdoing whatsoever. New at five, a state lawmaker tells Channel 2 Action News he is drafting new legislation which he says will keep scandals like this from happening again. Channel 2's Aaron Diamond is live at the state capitol where Representative Ralph Long wrapped up a news conference just moments ago. Yeah, well, at that news conference, Representative Long called out Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed, saying a bill Reed sponsored as a member of the Senate played a key role in allowing the cheating scandal to reach the level that it did. Now, within the last hour, a fired-up Representative Long blasted a 2003 Senate bill that he claims stripped the Atlanta Public School Board of its power and gave Superintendent Beverly Hall unbridled authority, as he calls it. Long is now drafting new legislation, he says, to reverse the 2003 bill and restore the board's authority to hold the superintendent accountable for the educational, financial, and legal operations of the schools. The General Assembly took away the Atlanta Board of Education's oversight of the superintendent. While these actions were obviously politically motivated, they have led to the environment that we see today. Now, Long said he's also working on other legislation to have APS employees pay back bonuses earned during Hall's tenure. Now, after the news conference, a spokesperson for Mayor Reed told me he sponsored the 2003 bill to stabilize the school district and attract top talent to the district's top job. He blamed the uh, scandal on bad decisions made by a lot of people rather than a bad bill. We're live at State Capitol. Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.